Hey, good morning to you. Yes, sir. Jesus is Lord. Word works. <clears throat> hey, I'm actually making this in the afternoon, Pat's in the background. We're just enjoying the blessings of God. I've been talking to you about the powers in the Word. The Word says you're blessed. So I'm going to help you with this. Years ago, 30 years ago, the guy says, how are you doing? I said, well, I'm pretty good under the circumstances. He looked at me and says, Frank, what are you doing under there? I said, under where? He said, under them circumstances. He said, the word says you're blessed, so you need to say you're blessed and quit being under there. <clears throat> now, I said, brother, if there's anybody in the world that's not blessed, dear God, I'm the one that's not blessed. I mean, I've been going through a trial. Uh, you know, we've been sick, and we've been this, and we've been broke, and we've been that. And he said, no, the Bible says you're blessed, so say you're blessed. Well, the power is in the Word, and when you start saying what the Word says, then the Word changes things. Well, <clears throat> you know it didn't happen overnight, but I can look at you right now straight in the eyes and say, man, I'm blessed. My marriage is blessed. My bills are paid. My body is well. I'm living in divine health. Everything that I have is blessed, but I begin to say what the Word says rather than say what the circumstances say. What you got to realize is Jesus said that whosoever shall say, you got to say it three times more than you believe it. Now watch. Somebody says, well, I don't know if I believe that saying stuff. Start saying it. I'm going to go somewhere that a lot of you don't even know about. But I had a situation where I couldn't forgive somebody. And actually, I went to sit down and talk with Kenneth Copeland about it. I said, because it was just driving me crazy. And I said, Kenneth said, you're going to have to forgive him, Frank. I looked at Kenneth very honestly, and I said, Kenneth, I appreciate you. I love you. You know how much respect I have for you, but I can't do that. I said, they tried to destroy me. They hurt me. They want to take everything. I can't do that. And he looked at me and he said, sure you can. I said, no, you don't understand. I can't do it. And he said, say this. I said, okay. He said, say, I can and I will forgive. And I thought, this is the craziest thing I've ever done. But I said, I can and I will forgive. But in the back of my mind, I thought, man, this is never going to work. But do you know, I forgave those people sometime later so much so that I don't even remember what it was unless I stir it up. Because the word that you confess is stronger than what's going on in your life. You know, the doctors may have given you a really bad report about your body, but begin to say, with the stripes I am healed because the power is in the word that will override or change what the doctor said. While your old husband may come in and say, I don't love you anymore, or your wife may say, I'm tired of this marriage. But if you'll say what the word says, go to Deuteronomy 28 and, and say, I'm redeemed from the curse, and start saying that. I told Pat this morning, we were on our way into church this Sunday afternoon here when I'm doing this, I said, look, you love me. She looked at me, she said, well, I do love you. I said, but the reason you love me is because I say that you love me and I am snared and you are snared by the words of my mouth. We have what we say because it's the power of the word to change your circumstances. So begin to say what the word says. You may not feel best blessed. You may not look blessed. And you can look at your bank account and say, man, I ain't blessed. But say what the word says and blessings will overtake you because there's more power in God's word than there is in your circumstances to change those circumstances. Hey, I got to go. Have a great day. Yes, sir, I'm blessed, but you can be too. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, say what the word says. Be blessed. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.